We treat our culture guide as a living, breathing document because times change. And they change fast, as we've learned in 2020. Updating this stuff is a key HR responsibility for several different reasons, including compliance concerns. You need to ensure that your organization and your employees are operating in accordance with employment laws and regulations. Protection from harmful litigation. This goes hand in hand with compliance. Updating culture guides with the latest laws and regulations adds an additional layer of protection from harmful litigation for non-compliance. Stay in sync with company culture. Make sure that your culture guide actually reflects your culture. In episode 41, I mentioned that parts one and two of a great culture guide share the founding story, establish the mission and vision, and generally set the stage for new hires to hit the ground running and, and, and be inspired on day one. On the other hand, part three digs deep into compliance and operations. In any comprehensive compliance section of a culture guide, teammates should be able to find the following details. Key employment law policies, including federal, state, and local regulations. An overview of the company and general employment policies, such as job classifications, employment eligibility, employee records, job postings, termination procedures, resignation procedures, union information if applicable, and leave policies. Anti-discrimination policies, including laws prohibiting discrimination and harassment, as well as ADA compliance. A sexual harassment prevention statement and the company's commitment to zero tolerance. A work schedule, including policies on hours of operation, schedules, attendance rules, punctuality, and reporting absences. Conduct standards, including how employees are expected to behave in the workplace, dress codes, cybersecurity, and device policies. Safety and security, including emergency exit locations, how to report an accident, and OSHA reporting requirements. Tech security, including policies on company email, blog posting, computer software, and social media posts. With each of these considerations in mind, what updates should HR make for 2021? At the beginning of the year, the IRS announced a new version of Form W-4, which is less complex, more transparent, and more accurate. LGBTQ plus protections. The US Supreme Court decided in June that employers cannot fire workers for being LGBTQ+. HR should amend the culture guide to reflect these protections alongside existing anti-discrimination language. Remote work policies. Update your culture guide to reflect new long-term remote work expectations and compliance policies. New employee leave requirements. One of the most common complaints is focused on leaves of absence. So it's clear this is a serious issue. It's a big deal. State-specific changes. We've covered a lot of federal regulations, but don't forget to include any employment updates that were made in the state where your company operates. Safety and security plans. If you haven't already developed a reopening plan or a safety plan, now's the time. PTO policy changes. By considering your company's financial health and the benefits package that you offer, HR can lead the charge towards meaningful PTO change. A good culture guide reflects your culture and your values. By creating and maintaining one, HR can elevate performance across the whole team. Remember, your job is as strategic as you make it. <music>